everybody. Um, I just thought I would jump on the video for um, a brief moment because I've just been to meet a potential new client and one of the things she asked me was how do I get rid of this stubborn belly fat around here? It just doesn't seem to be going away. And um, I get asked that question all the time. Almost every day I get the question, how do I get rid of my belly fat? So I just thought I would um, address that question as it comes up so much. So this fat, um, so for women, um, one of the places that we are more likely to store fat, especially as we get older, is around our middles. That is due um, in part to how our hormones are changing and how they're working um, because we have more storage for fat there. So if we're going to store fat, it's going to be in that area, maybe on the inside of the thighs as well. So it's really, really, really common. And what I think a lot of us think is if I do lots of crunches or a specific exercise, maybe that is going to get rid of that fat there. But I think when you're thinking about belly fat, you really have to change your mindset. So it's fat. It's fat like anywhere else on our body. So really we have to look at how we're going to get rid of that fat. So you could do 100 crunches every day. And what they would do is build up the strength of those muscles underneath the fat. But they're not necessarily going to help get rid of the fat layer over the muscles. So we want to actually get rid of the fat. So if we are thinking about fat busting, which I know plenty of you are, you have to think about a combination of things. One is obviously about the exercise that you do. So you need to be doing ideally some cardio, so that is getting your heart rate up. That might be a spin class, it might be jogging, it might be jumping around the room to um, a workout. Um, you know, something that is sustained and going to get that heart rate up, you're out of breath, you've got a bit of a sweat on and it's challenging you. So that's one part. Second part is weights. One of the fastest ways to start blitzing your body fat and get some changes in your body is by lifting weights. I don't mean you have to lift really heavy weights, but you do have to lift something that is going to challenge you. So it might be slightly heavy, um, hand well weight, handheld weights, you might have a gym membership as well, it might be kettlebells, um, but you need to be lifting weights, ideally getting that into your regular routine maybe twice a week if possible. Um, and we, that's something the weights we can talk plenty more about because I know lots of you don't know necessarily how to use weights and are a bit apprehensive, but they're really easy to use once you know how. It doesn't have to be scary at all and it doesn't have to involve a gym. So we've got cardio, we've got weights. The third part is eating. You can do as much cardio and weights as you want, but if you are not nailing that eating, in fact, if you're increasing what you're eating because you're hungrier or because you think you're burning more energy or you're eating the wrong things, you are still going to be eating too much. Too much energy is going into you and eventually it will be stored as fat. So they're those three things that you have got to nail if you are going to work on this stubborn area. And it takes time, okay? Once you've got fat stored there, your body does not want to give it up. Okay, it sounds silly, but it likes the status quo, so it doesn't want to get rid of the fat once it's there. So you are battling your body to burn away that fat. And so if you're doing that, it means you have to really challenge yourself. You have to really push yourself in your exercise. You can't just expect um, to do five minutes of light workout and then for anything to happen because it won't. So you have to be doing a mixture of all of these things, pushing yourself, making a conscious effort with your eating. Plus, unfortunately, as we get older, our natural calorie amount that we um, need decreases quite significantly. So you need a lot less um, calories in your 40s and 50s than you do, for example, in your 20s. Obviously, when you're doing lots of activities as well, so lots of if any sports, exercise, running, etc., that increases the amount of calories you burn. But if you just took your body like for like, you need a lot more a lot less calories to, to sustain your weight when you're older than when you're younger. So that is something to consider as well. We often don't change our eating habits, so we keep them the same um, without even really realizing it. 
So it's looking at all of those three um, areas. Hopefully that gives you some idea on the getting rid of that stubborn belly fat. Uh, I know it doesn't sound simple or easy, but it is. It's doing the right exercise. You want to be exercising cardio and weights three to four times a week. It doesn't have to be long. It could be 20 minute sessions. That's absolutely fine. And then it is nailing that eating. If you're not doing these three, the chances are it's going to be you're going to be really struggling losing that belly fat and that is not what we want so if i can help you with anything more if you've got any questions on any of that any comments please let me know bye